update. update. And it's been another week. Today, we are going to talk about dealing with disappointment, and not in like a bad way or anything. It's not going to be a depressing update, basically, is what I'm telling you, because it's all of these disappointments blow over. Like I said last weekend, we were doing four shoot nights in a row, which you can kind of see on Craig's. If you guys aren't watching Craig, uh, Wheezy Waiter, the new format, you, you gotta, you gotta watch it. It's fantastic. He's, and he's been going to the pop set a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a 70. Do you wanna? So this is a. So we just kind of see that it, it's... So let's do first shot, last shot. Um, I showed you last time, I showed you Friday. And then Saturday night after I shot the update, we shot again. So first shot. Rolling. One. Last shot. Oh, sorry, sorry. Rolling. Oh, thanks. Rolling. 64. Set. Sunday night, we shot again. First shot. Rolling. It's a, it's a boat horn. Oh. Boop. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drag number? Boop. Eight. Set. Last shot. Can you see my hands? Here? I can see your hands, yes. All right, 65. 65. Okay, we're all set. You guys set? Yep. Okay. Okay, so that was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Uh, to 12.30 a.m. It was getting good. We were getting a little worn down. We're seeing that we are shooting over and over and over again. We gotta head to the Platoon of Power Squadron shoot tonight. That's right, we're doing another one. Okay, and then shoot some more Platoon of Power Squadron tonight. But the stuff we were doing on Sunday night especially had everybody all geared up. We were really, really excited. And then we were in prime position to Monday night finish shooting the alley sequence that we've been shooting for all of these nights. But it rained out, but that's fine. We had our last uh, backup day for the alley of all the paperwork that I filled out was on Friday. Here's what Friday morning looked like. Absolutely beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. Here's what Friday uh, afternoon looked like. Going to lunch. Still gorgeous out. Really, really nice. And here's what Friday night looked like. So we have to reschedule. Like I said in the earlier update, with the city, I had to fill out this paperwork way in advance. I scheduled 11 nights because I thought it would take us nine to shoot this sequence. We were going to be able to do it in eight. We got rained out four nights instead of just three. I had two backup days just in case of things. And we actually ended up getting rained out four days out of the 11. So... We have one shoot night left to get there, but Craig is uh, leaving on tour with DPC. We'll have to get that in early June. So I've got to talk to the city to get uh, set up on the paperwork, getting our last shoot night all set up there. So that is a disappointment, you know, a disappointment. We had everything all set to go. We were going to get it at eight nights instead of nine. So that's great. We were moving at a pretty good clip and we still couldn't get it just because we live in <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> I figured by May it would be... Here's what I'm thinking now, because every time we schedule a shoot, it starts to rain and gets cold in the evening. And Eliza mentioned this to her coworker, Donna, as well. She was like, you know, of course it's raining because we are scheduled to shoot tonight. And Donna was like, well, stop scheduling shoot nights. Because, <laughs> yeah, we are ruining all of Illinois' weather because when we're shooting pops, it has to be cold and a little bit difficult to shoot outside. That's just how pops goes. So as soon as we get that scene, like, now that it's pushed into June, early June is just going to be awful uh, weather-wise here in Illinois. On the subject of disappointment, a long, long time ago I mentioned that we were working on another project. I could tell you all about the auditions we held for a totally non-Pops related project this week that went great. Did, I was so excited about it. I just, I really dug the concept. I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. It was called Forever Boy. This woman, going to be played by Carlin, she uh, gets out of bed in the morning. When she gets to the kitchen, she finds her high school boyfriend there. Not as he was in high school but aged up now except he's all cut up he's got all these gashes and like glass in his face and everything and he's just sitting there and she's like what are you doing in my apartment and he's like don't you remember me she's like yeah but I, of course i remember you. what are you doing in my apartment you know and basically in high school he told her that he would be with her for forever and now that he was dead forever apparently has started no one else could see him he was just going to be with her forever and this situation and he was very upset about it too because he doesn't even know what happened to his wife and child who were in the car with him when he crashed so that was the whole idea and it was like a 10 minute short it was like 10 to 11 pages long we held a casting session it was awesome we got two awesome dudes cast in the two roles of forever boy pretty sure it went the windshield a, a car face first yeah and then her current boyfriend is there somebody else here <laughs> We got together, had a read through. We even did some camera tests. It was awesome looking. And I had that footage, but I'm pretty sure when it all fell apart, 
that I deleted that file. I've been looking for it so that I could show you some of the camera tests, but I, I believe I deleted it in a fit of rage. <laughs> in a fit of disappointment, not so much rage, because it's nowhere to be found. Um, but those camera tests were super cool. Why did it fall apart? Okay, so after we did the camera test, after we had a read through with everybody, we were all ready to go. We were one week from shooting. We went and hung out with Craig and uh, my friend Sellers and Eliza, and we were all sitting at this awesome bar. Craig asked me how the planning was going for the shoot and everything, and I was talking to him about that. And then Sellers was like, what, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh, um, it's this Forever Boy shoot that we're gonna do, it's this short. And he was like, what's it about? So I explained to him what it was about, just like I explained to you. And he was like, oh, you know, that reminds me of Nina Forever. And I was like, what now? You're dead. That doesn't mean we're gonna break though, does it? Body Yup. Just like a month previous, it had done this whole thing at South by Southwest. Not only was the concept the same, because you can you can do a different thing with the with the same concept, and people do it all the time, but the tone was the same. All a short really has, a short film, is its concept and tone. Since Nina Forever did it with an entire feature. I mean, there's no point. There was no point in us making it. I canceled everything. We would come out right on the heels of Nina Forever, trying to go to the exact same festivals that that one was coming out of. So, you don't want to do that. Sometimes there's just an, an idea has a time, you know, and several people lock into it, and it just happens. And you see it with Armageddon and Deep Impact. These are asteroid hitting the world movies. There was a couple of volcano movies that came in at the same time. Every once in a while, a, an idea just has a time, and. You know, they got to it first, and so I was very disappointed in that. But what do you do? You just do your next thing. Call the city back and find another day to do it. Shelf that idea and go to the next one. Now I'm just gonna throw a camera phone cleanup in this because we used to do them in April. I was too busy for all of April to do a camera phone cleanup. This one is not called camera phone cleanup because every time I title a, a video camera phone cleanup, it gets less views than my normal updates do. So uh, for those of you who are not interested in the camera phone cleanup, I'll see you next week. For those of you who are interested, what is the camera phone cleanup? It's spring. Let's do a little spring cleaning. Now that we have video cameras just on our hips, we will sometimes pull it out and take a video of something we think might be important. And then we never do anything with it. It just sits on the phone. Every spring we should do a camera phone cleanup. Find out what in the past year did we consider important enough to document. I'm gonna grab everything that I grabbed off my camera phone from this last year and do a montage of it. So here it is. It's time again for the camera phone cleanup. <laughs> Looks easier to do, right? Simba, play the bass drum. <laughs>
There you have it. Just like every year, I would love it if you guys would go through your phone, find some clip that you shot video of this year, upload it to your YouTube page, and leave it as a link in the comments here. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for helping me deal with all the disappointment. You guys are amazing. Hope you have a great day. That's the Pops logo, and I will see you in a week.